In this video I'm going to show you how to set up Sierra Chart to work with Price Squawk. For Price Squawk to talk to Sierra Chart you will need to enable what is called the DTC protocol server in Sierra Chart. To do this click on the file menu, data trade service settings, SC server settings and enable the DTC protocol server. By default the server will listen on port 11099. You can later change this if you require. Also tick the auto send security definition for new symbols box. We'll close out of that. Now assuming you have downloaded and installed PriceWalk for Sierra we simply open up the Price Squawk Control Center. Welcome to Price Squawk. And it will connect to Sierra Chart. Now, for opening a specific market with Price Squawk, you'll first need to have an active intraday data feed in Sierra Chart. What this means is that you'll need to have an intraday chart open or a depth of market open or time and sales window as this will then tell Sierra chart to relay its data feed over the DTC protocol server. So I am going to open up an Australian dollar chart here Now we can see that the Australian dollar June contract is available in Price Walk to open. So let's say we want to listen Sell. within Price Walk to Sell. 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 Buy. the E Mini. Let me find the E Mini. E Mini front month. Open intraday chart. Sierra will do its thing. We should see the E Mini S&P pop up as an available market in Price Squawk here. We can either double click or cl select the market you want and click the Price Squawk button, and Price Squawk will open up an S&P E Mini Price Squawk window. For those that are new to using Price Squawk. There are a lot of configuration options for you here that I'm not going to go to through in this video. Your best option is to use the pre-configured settings, which you can access by clicking on the configuration tab. And under the settings drop down window are a number of different pre-configured options to get you up and running in Price Squawk. Or alternatively, the default settings when you open Price Squawk are going to provide you with an audible time and sales that plays buy and sell trade sounds that increase and decrease in volume as the volume flows in the market increase and decrease and down, there are sell, also sell, some basic sell, time and sales sell, sell, trade alerts sell, that you'll hear sell, such as 50 sell, hit and 50, 50, 50 lift 50 left, 100 hit 100 left and those sizes you might need to change to match your particular market. We do have some reference material that can help you get started. You can click on the help button and then click on this pricecorp.com help link and you'll see here it brings up the price Quark help page. Now, for more information on what those pre-configured Price Quark yeah. settings entail, you can reference the Price Quark Quick Start Guide, 36 is dead. which I'm opening up here. Sell. You can hear some selling occurring in some after-hours market. That must be the Australian dollar. It's actually a holiday in the US today, so you're not going to hear much from Price Squawk in this demonstration. So we've opened up the quick start guide. Uh, we have a 
reference in the quick start guide for all of the different settings. So it's just a quick reference that'll give you an overview of what Sell. each of the configuration options do. But more importantly, here are our pre-configured price quark settings. So for instance, if you want to listen to actual prices announced, you can select the mail prices setting and that will enable the price squawk, squawk mode. As mentioned, it's a holiday today, so we're not going to hear much action. So that's just a quick, quick start guide for you. Um, this Sierra chart version is still essentially in beta. So please contact us via the help page or send us an email with any issues so we can address them as soon as possible before the official release. Thank you.